If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over the best budget piece in Madden. You guys have been asking for this for quite a while now. I was waiting to let some more stuff drop into the game because it's quite a few budget beasts already. Just wanted the game to officially drop and see kind of the way the game was played. So you can see what we kind of needed. But so far, guys, I have I compiled a list of about 7 or 8 budget beasts that I really like. Uh, it ranges from about 40k or under. Now, again, the 40k one, some of them you can get for free, so keep that in mind as well. Before we get into the video, guys, though, our Poodle Squad shout-out for today is Dave Bird. If you want to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad, all you gotta do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and that's it. Oh, and li like the video. I believe, believe I said that, though. But yeah, if you're new, subscribe. Turn that notification bell to always be notified when I post a brand new video. Heading over to my reserve down below if you guys do need some coins. They already went live. Use code Poodle for at checkout for a percentage off. I believe it's 15. Now... Let's get into this. So let's get into the budget piece list here because this could take a little bit. I want to go in depth on some of the stats. So one guy I really like, and I was at number seven. So we have a list of seven here. I don't like to do lists of top 10 because that's just a lot of players. It depends on what we're doing. It depends on what we're, but for budget piece, I feel like right now there's like a top little seven of the ones I really like. Kyle Pitts has to be on this list. 13K for a tight end may seem like a lot. That's only a rookie card, but 84 speed at tight end would still make him tied with the fastest tight ends of the game besides himself, of course. And he's only, he's, he's, a, he's a base gold rookie, right? I really like this card. Um, the route running's not the best. Nothing else is the best, but you have speed. And with the way this game is played right now, speed of 10, I've noticed that speed of 10 is huge. 10 ends get open a lot this game so far. But we've always known at the beginning of the year of Madden, slow linebackers, slow ends, 3-4, slow 3-4 schemes. A lot of players can really just take advantage of having a good fast tight end in the beginning of the year. I personally prefer the Rick Premier to, uh, Pitts if you can go ahead and get that one. But this one's going to be a, pretty much a 13k base gold. You really can't go wrong with it, just for now. And his value should hold a little bit because it is Kyle Pitts, as well as the fact that he is going to be in that rookie set. And he must be one of the better ones in there as well. Next, we have Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown. Hollywood Brown, year in and year out, is always a good budget beast. If you want to get a nice fast wide receiver at only a cost of 5k, 88 speed is the way to go, 87 agility, and his change of direction is 84th and 81 juke. Going to be a pretty good RPO bubble screen kind of guy, good wide receiver screen kind of guy. Um, good jet sweep kind of guy. He's going to be really good at all that stuff. Going to be a good gadget player. Should be able to kick a turn for you as well. Now, I don't know what his exact rating on it is. It's only 68, but it really doesn't matter. As long as you have speed and some change of direction and juke, it should be fine. Uh, be careful. He probably probably fumbles a decent amount on kick return though. So I like to put that warning out there because you know how that goes. Nothing's worse than fumbling on kickoff. Especially because they literally, usually on kickoff, they just had scored on you, right? Nothing's worse than they just scoring on you and you're pissed. Then you fumble. Someone's not even mad. I'm just like, I'm just in like shock at that point. Next, we have Raheem Mostert coming in at number uh, three, I believe, here. Well, number three off the top, so five. Raheem Mostert, he's a beast. He's a beast off the rip to start the year. 88 speed, 87 excel with 81 change of direction, 82 agility, 81 jumping, 76 carries a little bit low. Now, I've already seen some pictures on Twitter. I believe with the right strategy card, as well as going ahead and getting um, him powered up and everything, you can get him up to like a 90 speed. And if you have him on a theme team, guys, even higher. He's going to be probably the fastest back off the rip right now until we get that new Saquon Barkley, which is coming pretty soon. But yeah, Raheem Moss is pretty good, guys. And you can't really, you can't argue 89 speed at running back, especially at a cost of like 24K right now. And then of course, to power him up, it won't be an expensive power. Also, you don't even have to buy him. If you guys go ahead and get your power pass from the exchange set or you get one from leveling up, you can go ahead and use it on Raheem Moss and pretty much get him for free. Um, as well as since he's only an 81, his power up would be cheap to do. You know, players like Mahomes who are 87 overalls and stuff, you got to do a few power up trainings in between. So that ends up costing training. Monster being an 81, you're probably trying to get his power up and probably power him up like one or two times for a super low training cost of like probably 25 to 40. It'll be, it'll be super easy. And then you could use a power pass. So it should be damn near a free card if you do it right. But yeah, Monster's really, really good. Next on the list now, guys, there's going to be a few team builders on it because the team builders are really, really fire. And they're cheap price. And remember, you can get some of them for free if you do play uh, some, some of the objectives as well as some of the solos. So Fabian Moreau is going to be the first guy on this list here in terms of team builders. Again, when you're doing a budget team, you want to focus on speed mainly. If you try to get guys who have really good man and zone and press, guess what? At a budget price, they're not going to have speed. The skill guys, the guys who are really good at what they do, don't have speed at this, at this price point. And then the guys that have a lot of speed at, what they, at this position don't have a lot of skill. But typically, a lot of skill... It's Madden. We'll get, we'll still get burned. We'll still get outran. We'll still get juked out. Speed is what makes up for a lot of that stuff at times. So 90 speed, 91 excel, 86 agility, 87 jumping. He's like a budget Deion Sanders in term in the terms of he's super athletic. He can catch. He has the height. He's able to go ahead and 
super he's gonna be probably the fast guy on the field unless they have a jamar chase or tyree kill or you know trevor trevon morig but i'm talking about he's on defense so trevon morig but um he's gonna be great he's gonna be a great great cornerback again he's not gonna have good man not gonna have good he's gonna have decent zone if you do go ahead and get a strategy card in the team for cornerbacks uh he'll get like an 80 zone which is usable again he could be a good flat guy he could be a good uh he could be a good nickel he could be a good dime he that's another thing it's a depth position so you can put him around a lot of places he would be a good deep zone guy as long as he can keep up with someone now a man coverage if it's just a streak he should be able to stay on them unless you're a man pressing that could get him kind of burnt some occasionally but he could he has a lot of uses here and he's only at 40k and of course you can probably go ahead and get it for free if you guys do if you guys haven't used that yet next this is probably the best budget quarterback in the game the, probably the best budget quarterback we've seen in a while off the rip that's not like a free pre-order player justin fields is nice now again you can go with the 74 one of course if you want to go really budget but this is the good one here 87 speed 88 throw power with a 81 deep 80 short i mean he's getting most thresholds for his passing and the medium if you put a lead pass on him he could probably get some of his throwing stuff up as well but he's gonna have a top throw power in the game with a top speed in the game with a really good agility for a quarterback as well as a you know 70 carry, which isn't horrible 80 juke 82 spin 84 change of direction. I still be careful. He's probably going to fumble a ton if you try to really take advantage of all that athleticism, but he's still going to be really good. In a game where escape artist doesn't seem as necessary as it has in the past, I, I would lean Justin Fields as one of my best, but like the budget quarterbacks, you have to go Fields. I don't think there's really a comparison with other guys on who you want to go at this spot. Next on the list, this guy's probably the best budget corner. I, I mean, sorry, budget wide receiver. This is budget Tyree Kill. Deshaun Jackson's Tyree Kill in a nutshell. Uh, pretty much take. Take Tyree Kill and take away some of his route running, catching, and change of direction. You end up with him. They have the same exact speed. Similar low route running and catching, except Tyreek does hit the 80s on most of his stuff. But again, there's, there's a big overall difference and a massive price difference. Tyreek's in the 300k range. The Sean Jackson can either be free or like 40k, depending on how you get him. 87 agility, though. Combine that with an 80 catching and 89 speed. You have a recipe for a really, really good wide receiver. 82 deep route running. So that means he can do deep post. Uh, he's not going to do them excellent, but he's going to do them decent enough. He can do deep post deep crossers streaks you can do a little bit of all of that and you're gonna get all that in a, in a pretty sh cheap price package and i'll be that's gonna be a guy you'll probably lean on on your budget squad because he's going to be super fast make big plays break away a bunch of times he's gonna be that guy for your team and you always need that kind of budget squad so if you have mustard out of the backfield with the sean jackson out there with justin Fields, you're gonna have a speedy combo and you can get that whole you can get that whole trail for under 100k um so sure enough you can technically get you can get one of them for free you can do the power pass and mouse. You can do. You can get all three of them like under 50k. It'd be, it'd be pretty crazy. It's not bad at all. I mean, that's that's why it's the, it's the budget team, right? But those are really good players. You could win a game with those players, right? That's what's important about getting these team builders that they're a cheap package and you could win games with them because they're competitive with the base elites right now, if not better than some base elites. Number one on the list, Darnell Savage. I love Darnell Savage. Each and every, pretty much. He was rookie last year, right? Uh, since he's been in mutt the last two years, all of his like uh, cards like this have been great. He's about 43 cam. I'm gonna go with this one because they always get bought out while I'm comparing them. But he's great. He's actually, he was one of my picks for my team builders and my best team builders to take. 87 speed, 87 excel. Now, people might say that Nasir Adderley was faster, but Nasir Adderley only has an 81 excel. Darnell Savage has an 87. That's, that's a plus six excel for two less speed. But as you guys do know, excel is really important this year. So if you're trying to use your safety with only 81 excel, I wonder if you change direction, how slow does it take you to get back up? If they throw it and you're running after it, how slow could it take you to hit that top speed? If you're trying to take a pursuit angle off a side run, like how, how long could it take? And I don't want to, I don't want to take that chance. Darnell Savage is the perfect package of 87, 87 across speed and excel with the 84 hit power, 82 zone. What I like about him so much, he could play all over the field. He could play it strong. He could play it free. And if you fill those positions up, he could also play at linebacker. He's a perfect build for a linebacker. He's five foot eleven. I wish he was like one inch taller, but he can jump. Of course, right? He could jump. He's going to have hip power, so it's great, great at the linebacker spot with good zone, good speed, good excel, decent hands. I guess for a linebacker per se. I mean, not the best hands for a safety. Eighty four change of direction, um, but he's good. He's just he's a really well rounded safety, and I really feel like you need that. And like I was saying earlier, usually when you get a well rounded guy like this, you end up missing out on some speed. But he doesn't. He gets top tier speed while also maintaining good hip power. Decent height, decent zone, everything. He's pretty skillful in his own right as well. That's all for the list, guys. So we have Kyle Pitts, base rookie, Marquise Brown. Um, we have Mostert, Fabian, Justin Fields, Deshaun Jackson, and Darnell Savage. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions or budget beast additions to the list, add them down below. So I would like to see them. I would like to see who people have for their budget beast down below. And of course, if you guys need any other help, DM me on Twitter. Follow me over there as well. And if you guys need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve down below and use code Poodle at checkout. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.